guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and welcome to this episode of Ipsy You. So today we're gonna be talking about how to bronze and contour for your face shape. Also determining what kind of face shape you have. Both of them add depth, but they also do different things. Bronzing warms up the skin where the sun naturally hits your face, and then contouring is gonna add some structure and shadow when you want to add the illusion of a different face shape. They are applied in similar areas on your face, but it differs depending on your face shape. Each model has applied this face primer to make sure that their makeup lasts all day. This is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Primer. It's a hydrator and primer that smooths and preps the skin for makeup application. I'll be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. It is a contouring and highlighting palette. This palette gives a sheer wash of color, but it's easy to build and also blends seamlessly into the skin. It gives you a great variety from light to deep complexions, and then also the highlighting powders as well. It's all matte, there's no shimmers, easy to use, you can't go wrong with it. This is the Morphe Mini Bronzer. It's a soft matte shade and it blends seamlessly into the skin. It's gonna give a really nice natural matte warm glow. If you have a heart-shaped face, the widest part of your face is your forehead, and the narrowest part of your face is your chin. To contour a heart-shaped face, you wanna start at the forehead, kinda swooping down along the temple, so follow your hairline. And then we're gonna swoop down into the hollow of the cheek, so almost creating like a three motion. So always start with a little bit of product and make sure just to really blend and soften. If you get too much product, grab your sponge and just go over the areas to lightly diffuse it. So we did one side of the face. Now I'm just gonna finish the other side and we will be right back. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth to the face. So I'm using a bronzer and I'm gonna play it above the contour, but also bring it along the chin as well, just to kind of soften. So I'm doing a three motion and then bringing it down right along here. Boom, you're ready mm -hmm. to go out and do it and get it. To identify a square face, look in the mirror and see if the sides of your face are straight. So they just like go straight. And then look at the width and the length. If they are the same size, you got a square face. Welcome to the club, because I got one too. <laughs> so to apply your contour, what you want to do is suck in the hollows of your cheek, like a fishy face. Nailed it. <laughs> then we want to follow this indentation right here that you're getting on your cheekbone. Right here. <laughs> I'm using the medium contour shade right here with an angled brush. So I'm just going to apply the contour lightly right in the hollow of her cheek. So I'm just using a little bit of product, sheer layers, and just lightly applying the product. You don't wanna apply too much product or you're just gonna get this big stripe on the side of your face. But right off the bat, go ahead and look straight. You can see a little bit of like an indentation or we created a shadow, which is giving the illusion that this is now kind of coming in and getting rid of the blockiness that we squares have. Not that it's bad, it's not bad. For square face, I'm also gonna come right along the jawline. It's honestly better if you start behind the ear and bring the shade forward. That way you're not having a random dark stripe right here and it flows, it's a clean line it's blended and it's seamless. And then to soften the forehead, kind of creating a rounder look, I'm going to lightly come along the hairline. Ta-da! So I did half of Jenny's face. I wanted you to see a difference, if you could tell a difference. We created some shadows, we created some dimension, <laughs> and it's super easy. Do you feel like you can do this? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> to warm up the face, we're gonna apply bronzer, and applying bronzer, you just wanna apply it above your contour. Got it? Nice. I like to just kind of place it in a W motion, because this is where the sun naturally hits our face. Ta-da! Ta-da! 
<laughs> Karen has an oval face shape, and to determine if you have an oval face shape, look in the mirror. Usually the length of the face is longer than the width, and then the jawline is rounded as well. So to contour the face, we're just gonna place it right into the hollow of the cheek. I'm just applying the contour right into the hollow of the cheek. I'm avoiding the forehead and the jawline because on an oval face shape, this area is already narrow and we don't wanna make it look smaller or create a shadow where it's not needed. Okay, so we did one side of the face. Turn, yes. Now I'm gonna even you out and do the other side and we'll be right back. So once we've done the contour, I'm going to add a little bit of that bronze glow. Using my bronzer, I'm just gonna come right on the cheekbone above the contour. This will add a little bit of that sun-kissed glow. Mmm. Mmm. Like it. Super easy. Do you feel like you can do this? Yes. Easy. Earlier we learned about square faces. So rectangle faces are pretty similar. The biggest difference is the length of the face is longer than the width of the face. Whereas a square, it was similar length and width. So let me show you how to contour a rectangle face. So to apply contour, go ahead and suck in your cheeks. It creates that hollow area. Go ahead and turn that one. Yeah. And I'm just gonna place the contour shade right in here. I'm also gonna come along the hairline, but not come on the temple. Again, I'm coming along the jawline, not all the way across. I'm stopping about halfway over and then just right at the tip of the chin. So we did one side of Melissa's face. Can you see the difference? Ah! Love. So now we're gonna add a little bit of warmth to Melissa's face. So I'm taking a little bit of bronzer, just the tiniest bit and coming right on the cheekbone. I'm also gonna bring the bronzer along the chin and across the forehead. Ta-da! How do you feel? Beautiful. So now moving on to the round face. So determining if you have a round face, go ahead and look in the mirror, okay? Usually the widest part of the face is the cheekbones and then the forehead and the jawline are more rounded out. So contouring on a round face, we wanna come on the temple, the hollow of the cheek, and then along the jawline, which will kind of create more dimension to the round face. So thinking of like a smaller three motion, starting here at the temple, coming into the cheekbone or underneath the cheekbone, and then along the jawline. So I'm just doing light, sheer washes of color, and then you can build when you want more intense color. So we did half of Julia's face. Can you tell the difference? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, you can. So now we're gonna add a little bit of bronze and some warmth to the face. So taking my larger powder brush, I'm just gonna add this right onto her cheekbones above the contour. How do you like it? I really like it. Do you feel like you can do this? Yeah, you know, I actually think I might be able to. I hope this helped you identify what kind of face shape you have and how to approach bronzing and contouring. Let me know down below if you gave it a try, how it worked out, what you think. But other than that, I hope you have a good day today. You make good choices and I'll see you guys later.